plate. This thing is crazy. Oh! Hey, Julian. Yeah? This was supposed to be an easy ride. <laughs> that looked pretty easy to me. <laughs> Hook her up, man. I'm not getting out of this. It's rare that Corny says that. <laughs> Hey guys, another day, another ride. We are loading up, or we have loaded up, and we are heading to Minden Off-Road Park, AKA Ray's Place in Minden, Ontario. It should be a great weekend. The weather is gonna be nice. Um, hopefully we're gonna hit some trail that you guys have seen in the past, as well as some new trail. Corny will be waiting for us. He's a little bit of ahead of us. Battle wagon is all loaded up, ready to go. Post Daker, I haven't even touched it. I haven't done anything except wash it. And uh, it held together wicked at the Daker Rally. Uh, the only issue I found is we lost the mud flap, <laughs> a Super ATV mud flap. The um, Super ATV end links here have not been working correctly because they kind of get in the way of these heavy duty high clearance trailing arms. I'm gonna have to change the end link setup. Hopefully this one lasts the ride. It looks like it's bent and also keeps unthreading itself, but I can't tighten it up because of how jammed up in there it is. The tires, the Tusk Megabytes, guys. Um, after the Daker, 625.7 kilometers in 21 hours, 29 minutes, pretty much nonstop. The machine did not miss a beat. Uh, these tires held together awesome. We literally put them through abuse. There was a few times I hit hard and I'm like, oh, did I hurt the tire? Nope, great tires. I really gotta say that I'm super satisfied with the Tusk Megabytes and I think they're an excellent all around tire. That's also tough and handles and wears well. They also feel quite well on the road. They're a great all around trail riding tire for mixed terrain. So if you haven't checked out some of the previous videos, then make sure you head on over to the channel and do so. If you haven't subscribed yet, then smash that subscribe button, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and check out our Shopify store, enjoy the ride. We are almost at Minden Off-Road Park, about three or four minutes away. It is Corny's birthday today. So once we get there, we're gonna wish him a happy birthday. It's kind of cool. Corny's spending his birthday at Minden Off-Road Park and I spent my birthday riding at Minden Off-Road Park. I guess that seems to be the thing to do. There's a lot of beautiful sights around here. Uh, this is a really nice area to ride, both scenic and technical, depending on what you want to do. Um, the Katva and the Hatva trail networks are around here. So the Kawartha Lakes trail network and the Halliburton ATV Association network is around here. So there is a ton of wicked riding to explore um, from mile to wild. And uh, you can find the maps on various apps as well as online and printed in paper. And there's just, there's a ton of awesome riding in this part of Ontario. Alrighty, we are here. Oh, they have a new sign. Now it's Minden Off-Road Park officially. Can you see that? Oh, yep. Corny's there. Oh yeah, there's Corny. Look, a military truck. I wonder if they're going off-roading. I want to see that thing. Hey. Hi. Good, how are you, man? Good, good. Nice drive up? Not bad. Follow me. Okay. Cool. We'll catch up in a bit. Chick first. Oh, Look, cow is sexy. Oh, cow is sexy. sexy. Look at that. Hi. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I love that cow is sexy thing. I know it looks good, That's right? Awesome. I'll tell you more about it later. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Is it them? No, not these. No, these guys are new. I'm checking out this shit. Woo! Look at this. Where'd you get these? Nice. Send it. That's so cool. I'm laser cut. And he, they said they could do uh, cuts for other people too. Nice. Like, different you, machines. You're gonna get a grill? Yeah, they're uh, gonna make me a custom grill of exactly what I want. It's so so then, clean. Yeah, I know, I shined her. I gave her the 30 second spit shine, the tire shine on yeah. the black. Nice. Thanks. You excited? Yeah, man. It's Check out what good. I've done. I've done a bunch of things to it. So tell me what you've done. So I got the Super ATV uh, tie rods. Tie rods, yep. A Rhino drive shaft. I had. I <laughs> didn't get video of that. Yeah, didn't unfortunately, sometimes when we don't go out on all the rides, we miss some of the carnage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to climb up out of uh, Creek Bank, Super Greg. Don't ever listen to Super Greg. He told me, yeah, you should know that by now. You should know. You should know that by now. And at the bottom of the Creek Bank, there's a big root. So my back tires grabbed the root at the bottom, 
and there's roots up on top. And I bounce once, bounce twice, snap. There goes the drive shaft. Oh, that um, sucks. Was it easy to put in? Dude, no. Oh. <laughs> I had to take my whole front suspension out. I had to take my diff out, my winch. You had to take the diff out? Everything, my whole front end. And the drive shaft comes out. The front? Like this. That's, that's pretty stupid. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can see that shiny new shaft yeah. of yours. Yeah, there she is. See, good picture. Oh, right dude, there. you put the shaft in upside down. <laughs> the other on the driver's side, it, it's uh, right side up. <laughs> cool. What else did you do? I did. This guy is awesome. If anybody's looking for Care X specific stuff, Jake at uh, Full Access. Full Access UTV. Super good with Kawasaki stuff. He hooked me up. I did uh, the fuel filter because these things are so over filtered. It's like sucking for fuel, making the engine run lean. And then the rollover valve, because of California emissions or whatever, they can't right. let any. So they vapor lock or something? Yeah. yeah. So it's a one way valve. So it'll build so much pressure inside the tank that it won't be able to start the motor. Right. So you got to go over and turn the cap right. and whoo, get all this yeah. gas fumes in your face. Thanks, California. Yeah. So I put the one way rollover valve, a new fuel filter, and that, that livened it up a little bit, right? Check out under there. Oh yeah, Mike hooked us up from Aftermarket Assassins. And what did you end up doing there? So I just did like uh, my machine stock, right? So the weight kit for stock tires. The big thing I noticed was uh, it takes a little bit more to engage, yep. kind of like your machine right. would. It'll bring it up to a higher RPM and get maybe a little bit more power in the higher RPM. So it engages it, the belt a little harder too, probably. No? Yeah. yeah, yeah. so you got a little more snap, yeah. right? Last weekend, I could uh, I could like break her loose on the, on the grass. Which it wouldn't do in the past? Mm, Not well. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you get a little more snap too, and that's all I was looking for. I don't, I don't need... It's not an X3. Dude, I'm not gonna. It works where it's supposed to work, yeah. and that's being proven. And all I needed was again. a little bit more snap, and I might even get a get a tune after. Nice. Do, does aftermarket assassins do the tunes, or who doesn't? They have a dyno jet. Probably give it a little bit more snap too, and you'll yeah. probably be happy at that point. Yeah. yeah. Where can we get onto something that we haven't done yet? I think there's like that outhouse trail that everyone's been saying we need. Are we gonna to hit do. that tomorrow? They I, they just did it. Is it good? Yeah, they said they loved it. How long did it take them? Six hours. So like we guesstimated, yeah. 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 Um, so I don't know, I, I really want to do greens because we haven't done it this year. Okay. Yeah. But it's up to you, I really don't care. I'm down for sign, trying something new. I have no expectations for this weekend. I didn't plan nothing. No, yeah. Quite honestly, I really just want to just, I need to chill. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> if you just want to. Yeah, you're not even messaging me and I'm like I a bro, man. I just, I need, I not even messaging it's me. Been a feel... hectic, it's been a hectic few months um, <laughs> and we just need to, to, this weekend I'd love to just. I feel like, like you don't love me anymore. You don't message ever. <laughs> oh, trust me. I've been waiting for his birthday. I'll show him how much I love him later. Ooh. Yeah. Fans only, Paige. <laughs> yeah. You can see some stuff you can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> it's premium stuff. Yeah, members only. Right on, man. I, I want to ask you so many questions about the Dacre Rally. It's yeah. Canada's longest one day overland rally. We filmed a full out documentary on the event, so you guys will be able to see it and all its action. It took us 21 hours and 29 minutes from start to finish to go 625.7 Without sleeping for the night. 625.7 kilometers. We slept for three hours before the event. We got a good three, four hours in. <laughs> and uh, so we, we we ended up getting up at three in the morning. Event, we left the gates at like 4.05, and then we got to bed at 3.30 the next day. 24 You're plus hours. You're probably zombies after that. Oh. Is it like there's a certain time frame you gotta stop you know this what? many minutes? I think we need to sit down and crack a beer and then we can talk about it. Oh dude, I got so yeah. many questions. Uh, if you wanna challenge yourself, and challenge your machine, then the Dacre is an insane event, man. Um, it's not super challenging, like technical wise. It's challenging because it's an endurance event, right? So it was a really good time. You like those seal savers? That's cool, man. I put those on for the Dacre. Um, I kind of damaged it, my fault. But um, they're really good. All the Baja guys run them. A lot of the racers run them. They're yep. huge in the motocross world. And they're oh, yeah, the motocross, back too. Yeah. Um, see, with these uh, Super ATV trailing arms, I can't run the shot guard that usually goes up to here, like the roost guard. So oh. I'm like, I slap the seal savers on. For slow crawling, like at Greg's, you don't really need them. But when we're ripping down the trails for a few hours. Yeah, the high gravel, speed, like a yeah. 600 kilometer yeah, race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I, you can see I, I damaged my sway bar end links. Oh, it's no like way. loose, but not. It's bent, but kind of. Huh. So hopefully she holds together. If she doesn't, yeah. we'll just get more flex. Oh, so there's a few more other things I Ooh. didn't show you that I got from uh, Full Access from Jake. I'm glad you got that koozie because you would not remember that I know. name. Yeah. Thanks, man. Corny's already was... started his birthday celebration. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> no, I haven't. So check it out. So I got uh, up here. I'll show you up top. So Ooh, this whole bracket right cool. here. So a brace. Yeah. So right now, or uh, from stock, they have just this thin metal. I don't know if you can see it. This is an issue on the YXZs and the X3s that all connect up here with this shock frame. Yeah. I think every I, I've seen it on multiple machines they gusset this section of the frame. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I don't do a whole lot of jumping, but if guys are doing a lot of jumping, they shear. You're gonna you're gonna when the suspension extends. You're gonna tear right, tear right out of that eyelet, Ooh. and when you come down, your shock is up here. So essentially, it's a very cheap security blanket. Very cheap. Yes. And, and I've got the same thing on my lower A arm mounts uh, because with the help upgraded A arms, uh, I've talked about it before. With the upgraded A arms and all the heavy duty components under there. Um, the a arm's not gonna break, it's gonna break what it's attached to. So I've got the Dragonfire Racing, or you can get the Super ATV uh, lower end gusset kit, which doubles wow. the thickness of all the A-arm connection points. See, it yes. basically doubles it up. So, yeah, so that's what Same you just thing. did there, I did on mine too. So they're uh, brackets. That, that, oh, you did yours too? Yeah, yeah, so down here, it's hard to see. Oh, cool. Up top here, there's uh, this bracket that connects front and back on the top. There. Right. It connects both sides together. And right here, there's a plate that connects. Oh, this I can see AR the plate. I can see AR. the plate. Yeah, you can see it on video there. Yep. So, it, so you're just tying those two things it, together to make it stronger. Regardless of whether you're racing or jumping, even when you ride like us, think about it. You're ripping through the bush at Greg's on a on a trail we're not too familiar with. You're back here. You smack a rock with that A arm. Yeah. You know what? I I'll deal with a broken A arm, but Same I don't want to deal with a broken frame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, so you're still running stock ARM anyways, right? That ARM yeah. is going to give way before those eyelets give now. Yes. Which yeah. is the, not what you want to do, so, but better than the alternative. I've heard of uh, insurance companies writing off a machine because the ARM ripped out. So I put those Heim joints in my machine. Right. I found, so I was up in the air and I found I bent this rim. Oh, look, yeah. Look at the clearance here. Look at that clearance. Oh. Oh, what clearance? Oh, I know. <laughs> and I found a little wobble on my rim. I'm like, Did you find it with the Heim? <laughs> yeah. Oh, rotating it. You're like, oh. Because I had it up in the air and I put the wheel on. I gave her a spin because I noticed it was close. Woo, woo, All of a sudden it's like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. A lot of people in the longer videos that like the longer videos have been asking us to go over the machines. And I think I think people have a pretty good idea of your machine because every time a camera comes out, you're like, oh, look at camera, <laughs> look at me. Um, but um, we, they know my machine. I think they've got a decent idea of Greg's machine. I think we got to work through the crew. Yeah. And get some of the other machines on too. Yeah, man. It's too bad none of the other guys could make it out this weekend. West Virginia. Dude, West Virginia, here we come, baby. Mount Mama, yeah. Top of my West Virginia terrain. Um, so Fans I've only. been to West Virginia three or four times. Um, I've been to Tennessee two or three times. Corny, have you ridden over in the States? I've ridden Silver Lake, Michigan. On an ATV? Yes. Yeah, okay. Dude, that was fun. We got to go back to Michigan. Oh, we got to hook up with the dirt dudes. Yes, yeah. man. I know we've been saying it for ages, but. Watch like every episode of yeah. theirs. And They're doing just... great lately. Oh, Big man. Big shout out to Zach yes. and Nick uh, and, and all the boys. It. Yeah. Aftermarket Assassins is treating you guys right. Well, they're treating them well too, repping yes. all their products. They're stage six on the Pro XP. Oh, yeah, on Break of Jake's E85? machine. Yeah. yeah, I know. Break of oh, Jake. He does not disappoint. He's lives true to his name. He's he's loving every minute of yeah, it. Yeah, The Dirt Dude guys, they love every minute of what they're doing. They're kicking ass. Yeah. They so are. we got some catching up to do. Real passionate. Yeah. Yes. We I got to get into the into the editing room and and catch yes. up. Yeah. Summer is so hard. It's so oh, easy to summer. fall behind. Yes. And I've had a lot of other crap going on too. So it's a million just, things in the yeah, summer to do. Yeah. It's not easy to balance everything. Yeah. But yeah, West Virginia, we're heading there. We're heading to Hatfield McCoy. We're going to stay um, on the Hilltop Cabins, uh, Twin Hollows. Twin Hollows. In Gilbert. Yes. Uh, we've been there a few times in the past. It is great. It's right off the Rock House trail system. Yes. I know all you semi local and local guys will say that the Hatfield McCoy trails are tourist trails. Well, um, hopefully we can ride some outlaw trails when we're there as well. Hook us up, boys. Um, so I don't like the camera. This uh, sticker is dedicated to Courtney. It's because it's a bad idea. Doesn't mean it's not gonna be a fun time. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, no way. 
Nice. <laughs> sometimes it's good stuff I say, sometimes it's bad. What's it called? Chernihivskia. 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 Uh -huh. It's Courtney's birthday. So uh, Ksenia is Ukrainian, if you don't already know that. So we got her, we got Courtney some Ukrainian beer and it says profits go to the Ukraine Relief Fund, humanitarian relief effort. So essentially by drinking this beer, you're helping save the world. Yes, I'm doing my part to help Ukraine by drinking this beer. I know that's I know. inappropriate, but I mean, Ukraine's most loved beer brand. We'll give it a shot. Yes. What's it called? Chernihivskie pivo. Say that again? Chernihivskie pivo. <laughs> Happy birthday. Whoa, what is this? We're going to drink Ukrainian beer on your oh. birthday. And read no the way. tin. It's going to humanitarian yeah. efforts, so you getting ham today will help <laughs> save Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> I drink for Ukraine. I'm being, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She saw it at the beer store, like, we're getting that. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. my best friend out of off-roading, me and him, we always love to sit down together and, and we love to try different kinds of beers and different kinds of alcohols. So this is super awesome. Yeah, cool. I'll have one yeah. with you. I've never had it either. Yeah. Here. Cheers. You, you want yeah. one or are you good? She's, she's full. Camera girl. Camera girl. Camera girl. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. What? Snem Narodzina. Snem Narodzina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Corny. That's a great, easy that's, drinking beer. That's a good beer. We should that's have bought a very three more good packs. beer. This is Ukraine's most loved beer brand, inspired by the original Chernogivskia. Our tribute beer has a crisp and refreshing taste. Your purchase will benefit the Ukrainian humanitarian effort. Cool. Wow. Oh, cool. Do you just get them from the LCBO? Yeah, yeah. we just kind of wow. sell them. Yeah. Nice. Brewed in the USA, though. It's it's mm. their take on that beer. Yeah. It's like a remake. Political crap set aside, we can keep this easy. It's so awesome to be where we are and just be able to enjoy things. And yeah. we're complaining yeah. about gas prices and interest rates and housing costs. But at the end oh. of the day, we're not really, we got nothing to bitch about. We got to get. You're from Ukraine, yeah. right? I don't even know what that all, <laughs> what that all means. How that long? would nine years. We are all lucky here to live in Canada. Yeah. To me, it's just yeah. There's a bad thing happening in a different country, but to you, that's that's your country. Mm -hmm. Imagine Canada. Like if somebody came here. Yeah. It's just such a. We don't understand what. It's what, all perspective, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't understand. So yeah, cheers to cheers to the people in Ukraine. I guess. Yeah. 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 That would suck. And if you have any family there, then we wish them the best, right? Yeah. Mm. This is good beer. It's very good. Oh man, we're not gonna easy <laughs> drinking beer. LCBO, where? Where? Do you, do you want one? Ah, uh, sure, I'll try one. Here, you want to at least try mine? Oh, I'll drink my own. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, look at She's that guy. She's a big guy, girl. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Thank see you. you have more there. We got a six. Oh, you got more, do you? <laughs> oh. We only got six to try. <laughs> okay. What's that? That's good. It's no Michelob. Oh, no, yeah. but it's still good. You've skipped. What does that say? What does that mean? What do you call that? What do you call that name? Chernihivska. Chernihivska. Is it Chernihivski? Chernihivska. Say that again. Skia. Chernihivska. Skia. Wow. So I'm uh, okay. I'm low German Mennonite, so that Kia I can understand. Do you speak yeah. the German Mennonite tongue? You like that? Yes, huh? he does. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Look yeah. it on us. Look at me. And I'm, I'm, Look at this guy. I'm yeah. not drinking at all, sir. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. It's acceptable. Happy birthday. Look at her just throwing it's stuff empty. around. I'll grab, it yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab it after. I'll grab it after. Mom, yeah. I said he's just next to the That sounded very rude. Everything harsh. sounds aggressive in my language. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's really You guys bad. should see the tattoo Corny's got on his chest. It's like the one from American <laughs> History X. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just scared. Not to talk about that. Oh, don't worry, man. It's a redneck channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we redneck, we're fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's. We're this is definitely gonna be a chill day. Yeah. Okay.
let's get unloaded. So stay tuned guys, we got a good ride coming your way. I'm sure we, we're done with our talking here. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Hopefully explore some new terrain, hopefully see some scenery, hopefully do some crawling. Um, definitely gonna be a good time. So uh, stay tuned, not sure how we're gonna picture this, uh, put this together. I think what we're gonna do actually, we'll make a video today, day one. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make a video of tomorrow, day two, to break it up so it's not so long. So this will be this will be part one, our intro getting here, our initial ride, and then we'll see what tomorrow's got in store. <laughs> oh. Is today today your birthday? Yes, today Ooh, is my birthday. Okay, cool. Seven so, twenty-two. So we'll we'll dedicate this ride to Courtney. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yes. All right, guys. We'll see you on the trail in a few. I know it's your party and all, but Whoa. you don't have to drive. <laughs> it's raining. No. I did a 30 second spit shine on my machine. Well, it looks better now. <laughs> yeah. We got a water bead on that. That's a good tire shine. We get here, it's beauty, and then rain. That's rain. okay. No dust. No dust. Yes. This is going to knock the dust down. Yeah. yeah, it'll make things interesting on the rocks, right? Oh, you're on the cryptids. That's an awful tire for the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> the mud, you lay. See ya. All right, we are here at. Been an off-road park, and uh, we're about to hit the trails. We just got everything set up and geared up. Got the cardo units in here. These cardo units are awesome for communicating, and we can chat normally without yelling at each other as we ride. Beautiful weather. Got a bit of rain to keep down the dust, and now we're gonna go. We're gonna take it a little easier today, and then full we'll send tomorrow. Say hi. Hi. Gonna be a good day. Always a good day at Minden Off Road Park. Dude, I'm man. so. Nice oh, that's awesome, bro. Well, we're in for a good ride tomorrow. Oh, bro, we'll be definitely in for a yeah. good ride. You know it, bro. Nice. Awesome. Nice to meet you. That's awesome, bro. This is awesome. That's okay. Got to send this thing on Royal Distributing Team. Yes. Yo, you're all over the Royal Distributing Team. Yeah. When you go in, I know it's awesome, all right? all, bro. Well, you got a Royal Distributing helmet. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a brand new one. My daughter has the same one. Got got the uh, got the bucket style too. Just to keep yourself rocking, you know? Well look, now you're gonna be in the videos. Perfect, man. I can't wait to see that. So we just met a bunch a couple guys that watched the videos. Alright, this always starts here. Silver baby. Well my shocks are still set up for Dacre. It's been changing. Yeah, I might have got way too much air in the tires and my shocks are a little stiffer than they should be from the Dacre Rally. Oh, we came to play. We're going down this big one. holding me. Hey Julian, yeah? this was supposed to be an easy ride. <laughs> that looked pretty easy to me. <laughs> Honestly, I backed up so I wouldn't roll and I rolled. Um, wait for me. <laughs> hey, nice skip play. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Woo! 
weekend's gonna be like. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Hey, no problem. Rock music, tell you that. Well, the rock face wasn't the problem. <laughs> I don't think I damaged anything. Spare tire stopped. Spare tire rested up against the tree. Max occasion its job and uh, so did the spare tire mount. So uh, we are good. No damage to report. Don't roll over! show off. Damn Can-Am guys always showing off. Good. that subscribe button guys check out the previous uploads follow us on instagram and on facebook
expecting to roll over like that right away. I'm glad I felt that. Me too. This part's gonna be good. guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. With this being the first video of 2023, I just want to take a moment and wish everyone a great Happy New Year. I hope it has a lot of awesome times and great riding ahead. Thanks for all the support you guys have shown over these last few seasons. It's really helped make all my YouTube dreams come true. With that being said, the goal for 2023 is to make it the best year yet for Adrenaline Junkie Prod. We have a ton in store, a ton of trips, and a ton of great ideas to make some awesome content. Right now, I'm trying to plan a few trips down south of the border. We're hoping to get back to Tennessee, West Virginia, Michigan, Michigan, as well as probably Pennsylvania this year, maybe a few others depending on how the year goes. We also want to do a bit of traveling within Canada, Ontario, and we might have a cool trip lined up for New Brunswick, but we're just trying to work out the details on that. My major goal this year is to meet up with as many of you as possible, hit the trails, ride in various areas, and also collaborate with some other YouTubers. Make sure you follow along on social media, that's where I'll be posting all the details of upcoming rides and adventures. Oh boy! It's chewed. 
when one machine is struggling at something, the other, like, you yeah. think you're not going to do it, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa. But then other times it could go even worse. You chewed a big rock out of the left there. Can I film? Yeah. Dude. Then I get to go in. Yeah, you can make it look easy. I, it, you could feel the grip as the tire heated up. Yeah. Oh, dude, they were heating up real good. Oh, it was... was it smoking? Oh, yeah. Yes. I got oh, it. Man. You're going to make this look like a joke. Yeah, buddy. First shot, first shot. Oh, you got a nice rock there. Yeah, I'll grab it. Just rim, just rim. <laughs> oh, it's overheating? So take the battery out. So close. What am I stuck on? Uh, you're pinned up against this rock here. It's just, they keep suck, they like suck your wheel in and then you can't go anywhere. Nice. That was fun. You killed it like usual. Yeah, buddy. The KRX never disappoints. I'm going to give you a solid second place. I'm the loser here. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> defeat oh, yeah. is defeat. <laughs> you guys cheated. <laughs> sure did. You paved the wow. way for us. I haven't even looked at my rims. Oh, God. <gasps> you think that's bad? Look at this one. This one's got pieces missing. Oh, oh my God. Look at that more grip yeah we're, we're testing the tusk bead locks here they just took a thrashing the megabyte tires are tough they're holding up better than the rims oh yeah I've had nice you got yours on the opposite side i think those are there already i've had a few beauty marks yeah. already oh yeah we got some freshies do we we got some freshies yep just a few first. let's call it a ride guys yeah uh, yeah no. i think we've we got to uh, repaint these before we can ride again <laughs> we can't live with this so I had 15 and a half PSI in those. Oh. That's not helping my case either. Not my excuse, just saying. Not helping. These are, uh, I was set up for high speed, right? I didn't want to get pinch flats at Baker. Yeah. That'd be the worst to get up. But it's riding, it's even riding a little choppy because of the pressure. So I'm gonna do, I'll do 10 in the rear, eight in the front. My combos. <laughs> Spicy mustard is great. Susie, combos? I could've used the combo down there, dude. <laughs> you could've used a combo down there. <laughs> Is this episode brought to you by Combos? Uh-huh. Well, it's gonna be so much nicer with less air. So I had 15 and a half pounds in the rear tires and um, about 13 and a half in the front. And now I'm running eight in the front and 10 in the rear.
Yeah. Yeah, I know. Show just for fun. That smoke show was awesome. It's I was so breathing good. it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, man's flown. doing it, eh? Oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, I was trying to get over the one stump and it caught my foot. I will wham. <laughs>
frame on the back. You're gonna have to bump it. Bump it. Right here? Yep. Maybe. <laughs> That's a wicked little climb. That is. We used to be able to hit it that way, but now that washout screws oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. You can't come from the right. The Look at this. Right. Is this for comfort or for speed? Yeah, comfort. both. Because the the door seam is right on the top. Like if you oh, got it pinches your barrel, you. Yeah. It'll pinch you. You good? Oh yeah. Watch it all the time. What's that? Watch it on YouTube. Oh, nice to meet you, man. Hello. Good day for this. Oh man, it's always a good day. <laughs> you good? Look at you. Oh, it's CF Moto. Cool. That's a sweet little section, eh? Yeah, this used to be uh, one of the old trails to get out of here. Yeah, I don't think they run this one often, but no, those guys on ATVs went down it and they said we should check it out. Yeah, because uh, this is the way we used to get out when Ray was building the trails. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Duke Boys uh, Power Sports. Instagram? Duke Boys Power Sports. Facebook. Cool, not, check not them out. us. If you want to do Bronx, let's go this way. Let's see how it... 
I know we've had a few uploads in the last little while from Minden Off-Road Park. It's a lot of fun to ride here and it's quite local to us. But the upcoming videos that'll be releasing after the next one will all be new content from West Virginia. We had a blast on the trip to West Virginia. We had a lot of various machines out. We conquered a lot of awesome terrain. So you guys will really enjoy the change of scenery with that video series. Oh, this is where Tim got stuck, remember? It's not as muddy this time. Yeah. Remember this was all full yeah. of water. Looks like this side's worse now. So I just said, I'm not even going to try that. I mean, I'm never going to make this. Ride over that pole. And Courtney said, I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'll try her, bud. I heard you had some sort of plan there, so I'm going to let you at it. All right. Spinning. I'm not in diff lock. Oh, okay. Well, I can't go back. No. Nope. And I'm not getting momentum now. I can't go backwards, can I? You can go back like a foot or two, I think. Hold on. Uh, I don't think it would be beneficial. No. No. You could go back. <laughs> um, consequences. Do you think you can go forward if you spin them up? Put your I'm foot up. I'm sliding left. Oh. Do you want a wincher? I think so. No, lighter up, that means you're sliding left. I say lighter up. Hey, oh bad. my god, what did you say? I say lighter up. <laughs> Come on. You don't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> Hook her up, man. I'm not getting out of this. It's rare that Corny says that. Hook it up. I usually wouldn't listen, but consider this a birthday <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's my birthday mulligan. Release the cable. so that it doesn't rub on the ground. Come on. Whoop. As soon as I started spinning left there, go look at that hole. Oh, I seen it. <laughs> Big reason I said I'm not trying it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Unimog's down there. I want to watch him ride. Yeah. Oh. Look at that thing. It's a trooper and a Suzu. Ah, sick. Whoa! Sorry, I spit. <laughs> Check it out. We are out here at Ray's place, Minden Off. Oh, horse fly. Check this little truck out. That's awesome.
front wheel doesn't want to grab. Freaking awesome. Thanks, man. This thing has gone through absolutely everything we've thrown its way, man. What year is it? 89. 89. It looks like it's been around with judging yeah. by the patina on those stickers. <laughs> Most of North America. You did? Yeah. Oh, sweet, man. That's awesome. Mine's got the big roof rack and everything. That is awesome. That's, I saw wow. the sticker. That's awesome, man. Yeah. We're going to follow you guys yeah. for a bit. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. and well-established GoPro fashion, the camera decided to record perfect video, just no audio. So you'll see some of the shots have um, no audio, so I'll put some music underneath them because uh, watching this Unimog come through here was a lot of fun and seeing the Isuzu and really seeing how various off-road machines function in similar terrain and, and, and watching the evolution of off-road technology side by side like this is pretty cool. It was really fun to see this machine perform.
pit. So guys, um, that was pretty cool, watching the Unimog and the Trooper. Uh, that Unimog is a 1968, it's a Swiss military surplus vehicle, originally imported. And uh, yeah, it was awesome to see it in action. Uh, those guys are staying back at camp, so maybe we'll see them some more. Um, but talk about perspective and, and the difference in, in, in various machines. So we're just heading back to camp now. We're gonna have some dinner. Uh, we didn't really have much lunch, so we're gonna make our way back. And um, probably gonna finish off the first part of the video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the trails at Minden Off-Road Park. We always have a ton of fun here. The trails always change and evolve. And uh, they're looking a lot different than they did last time we were here. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the other content. Smash that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook if you don't already. And uh, if you want some cool Team AJP stickers, shirts, sweaters, stuff like that, then check out the Shopify store. If you're ordering from the Shopify store, give me a give me a couple weeks to dispatch your order and get it to you. Uh, shipping times aren't super fast, uh, but there's some cool stuff on there. All the sticker orders ship free internationally. And uh, stay tuned, we got some more wicked action coming for you from uh, Minden Off-Road Park and the surrounding area here this weekend. So um, yeah, we're gonna make our way back to camp, grab a bite to eat, and um, we'll catch up with you in the next video. Ride safe out there.